Welcome, my name is Ori Kashi, and I'm a product manager on the Cloud SQL team. In this video, I'll show you how to create, run, and manage SQL instances using Google Cloud SQL. Cloud SQL helps manage mundane administrative tasks for MySQL, Postgres, and Microsoft SQL Server databases so you can focus on what matters. Let's walk through how to create a SQL Server database on Cloud SQL and connect to it from SQL Server Management Studio. You can set up an instance in just a few steps. Let's go through the basics, and I'll point out some options for additional configuration along the way. We'll start by navigating to Cloud SQL in the GCP console and clicking Create Instance. This instance will be created in the US, and we'll leave the zone set to any so Cloud SQL can choose for us. Now let's take a look at our configuration options. You can specify your addition, the instance size, high availability, and more. For this demo, I'll stick with standard edition, and I'll choose a four-core high memory instance. Maximizing memory is a good choice for SQL Server because it can take advantage of the extra memory for performance. That said, don't worry too much about initial sizing. You can scale the instance up or down later. Let's increase the storage capacity to 200 gigabytes because increasing disk capacity also increases performance. Check out the performance calculator on the right. As I add capacity, my disk performance increases, which allows my database to process more operations per second. I'll leave automatic storage increases enabled so that I don't accidentally run out of disk space. Lastly, let's ensure that the database will automatically provide isolation from failures. We can do that by enabling the high availability configuration which for SQL Server adds a standby instance in a different zone. Now that we're happy with the configuration of our instance, let's kick off the creation. It may take a few minutes for your instance to create. This is a great time to grab a quick cup of coffee. You can also check the status of your instance by navigating to your instance list. Once you see a green check mark, your instance is ready. Looks like our instance has finished creating. Let's open the details page to continue. There are many ways to connect to this instance. Within GCP, for example, we could use App Engine, Compute Engine, or Container Engine. But we could also connect from just about anywhere by authorizing IP addresses or using the Cloud SQL proxy. For this demo, I'll connect using a familiar tool, SQL Server Management Studio. I'll be running SQL Server Management Studio from a GCE VM, and so I'm able to connect securely and easily via private IP. Once I remote desktop into my VM, I'll start SSMS and then put in the private IP of my Cloud SQL instance. I'm using the default user, SQL Server, and then I enter our root password from before. And now we're connected. So let's go ahead and create and insert some data. To begin, I'll create a database. Next, I'll insert some data. Finally, Let's make sure the data is now in our database. And it is. Great. So to recap, we just created a Cloud SQL instance with high performance and high availability and connected to it with SQL Server Management Studio. Now that you've seen how to get started, give it a try. You can learn more about Google Cloud SQL and our free trial program at cloud.google.com free. Thank you for watching.